What's up, Parkview kids? So glad you're here. All throughout the summer, that is June and July, we are going to be making waves by learning about the nine fruits of the Spirit. So for the next nine weeks, we are going to be learning about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So to help you remember it, ready? Let's do this. I know it's called the hand jive. If you're super old like me, you know the hand jive. So ready? To get started, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Okay, now that you're ready, let's all stand up and worship God together. You're my calm in the chaos, my peace in the war. You speak light into darkness, you tell me I'm yours. Only you, Jesus, are in control. You are my every heartbeat, every breath that I breathe, you're all I need. I love these little guys. I love catching them. It's, it's one of my favorite summertime activities. Mm. This one here is a lightning bug. And this little guy is a firefly. <laughs> uh, uh, aren't those the same thing? What? No. No, that's ridiculous. No, no. I mean, they, they're called different things depending on where you live. Like some, some areas call it a firefly. Some areas call it a lightning bug. They're, they're the same. No, I mean, just look at them. Look, look, look at them. They're, they're totally different. No, they're the same. Look closer. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm going to prove to you this that you're just being silly. That they're the exact same thing. <gasps> <gasps> Lightning bug? Lightning bug. <gasps> Are you sure you want to do that? I must know. Firefly! Hello everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. You know, it's another beautiful summer day and we're super excited to be here with you. Sure are, but you know, it feels like we're missing something. It does? Or someone who knows oh. stuff. Hey, yo! Hey, 
it's Leonard. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So good to have you. Good. What? It smells like cottage cheese in here. You guys eating some? No. 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 Uh, so Leonard, uh, for for anyone who hasn't met you yet, why don't you tell us who you are and what you know? <clears throat> I am Leonard Fortescue, and I am a professional metal detectorist. I forage the sandy beaches of the world with my trusty metal detector here, Camilla. <laughs> You find anything good lately? Are you kidding me? The sea turtles ride on the back of dolphins? No. Well, of course they do. What do you think dolphins got those fins for? So they can grab a hold, you know, and go through the waves. Woo! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what, what 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 did you find that was so good lately? Well, well, the other day, I was doing what I usually do, you know, just scanning and scanning. When this big old wave came up and went a howl, got my socks all wet. So I decided to move a little higher up the beach when all of a sudden this family of seagulls came and they started attacking me. They were after my crackers. But then I got a little further up the beach and let me show you what I found. I found this family heirloom. Uh, uh, I think it's Look at that. Jewelry. Whoa. Whoa, is that a real ring? Well, of course it's real. Can't you see it? Look what? at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to sell it? Did you not hear me? I just said it was a family heirloom. Can't sell that. It belongs to somebody. Oh, well, that's that's really good of you, yeah. Leonard. Yeah. Well, thanks. How, how are you gonna How are you gonna find out who it belongs to? Well, it's easy. Watch this. Hey, people watching! If you're watching the show and you've ever lost anything, call the show right now. Cause maybe I found it and I can give it back to you. Uh, call the show. How, how can they call the show? We don't even have a phone here. Yeah. What? <laughs> Where did that come from? Howdy ho! How are you? Leonard and Camilla speaking. What'd you lose? Uh-huh. Oh, you didn't describe it for me. Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! I got that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see here. One partially chewed pack of chewing gum. Yeah, with two pieces missing out. That sound like you? <laughs> Perfect. Let me get it back to you. I I'll meet you tomorrow where old man Murray sells the seashells. All right, hey, <laughs> see you later. There's nothing that gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling than reuniting a man with his gun. Are you telling me that? You're in the hot seat, what'd you lose? Uh-huh, oh, yeah, 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 hang on, that, that, that sounds familiar. Here, hold, hold this for a second. Oh, okay. I got that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> I got Mr. Twinkle Pinkle right here. Uh, wait, wait, you wanna meet? London, England. Hey, how about I pop them in the mail? How's that? It's a deal, Neil. <laughs> Glad I can help. <laughs> so, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Leonard, do you always give back the stuff that you find? Well, when I can, sure, you know, because it's not mine. It doesn't belong to me. Plus, I know what it's like to lose something, you know. So, you know, I like helping people find what they've lost. Seems like the right thing to do. Huh. Wow, you really are an inspiration for good, yeah. Leonard. Hey, well, don't leave out Camilla. She's yeah. the one doing all the finding. Yeah, you gotta give her a little pat. She likes that. She... Hey. Yeah, Camilla too. Yeah. Oh. Hello, this is Leonard. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah. Uh -huh. Is it about the family hair uh, the heirloom? Uh huh. Oh, okay, I don't think I found that yet, but I'll keep looking, okay? All right, bye now. Well, what did they lose? Nothing. I didn't. They didn't say anything. I think they may have lost their voice. You haven't found a voice around here anywhere, have you? I don't think that's how <laughs> lost voices work. Oh, I hear it. I'm coming for you, boys. Bible story time with Kellen. Kellen. Kellen! Hey, friends. Hey, what do you got for us today, Kellen? Oh, uh, nothing too heavy. It's a pretty light message. That'll make more sense after you've heard the story. It's about light. It's a light message. Let's take a look. Jesus was an amazing teacher. So crowds of people followed him around to hear him teach. On one of those days, Jesus taught the people from the side of a mountain. 
What he said that day wasn't just for them, but it was for us too, who listen to him now. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. What do you think about when you hear light of the world? Well, maybe you think about this. The sun shining over everything, literally bringing light to the entire planet. But Jesus said, you, you are the light of the world. Wonder what that means. How are you and me a light? Hmm? Jesus went on. A town built on a hill can't be hidden. First, Jesus was talking about light, but then he made people think of a different picture, one of a town built on a hill. And Jesus was right. If you lived in a town like that, it wouldn't be hidden. People would see it from miles away. So what do light and a town on a hill have in common? Well, they're both easy to see. They're out in the open. Then Jesus said, also, people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. You wouldn't turn on a lamp and then put it under a bowl. If you did that, you'd be in the dark. The lamp wouldn't be able to do what it was made to do. So, if I'm a light and you're a light, what does that mean that we were made to do? Jesus says this, In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do. Jesus was saying that you were made to do good things and out in the open too, not hidden so that people can see them. That could mean spending time with someone who isn't feeling well. It can mean sharing with others, sharing your food or your things. You could do good by spending time with your friends and family or you can make someone laugh. There are a lot of good things you can do in the world. You can shine a lot of light, but Jesus wasn't through. He had one more really important thing to add. He said, others will see the good things you do and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. We do good in this world, not to make ourselves look good, but to show the world that God is good. Shining your light lets other people experience God's goodness through you, whether through acts of kindness or simply by being yourself. When you let people see the light that God put inside of you, you point people to God. Wow. That's awesome. I'm a light. And what am I going to do? Hide it under a bushel? No. I'm going to let it shine. Yeah. That's great. Because when you shine your light, God's goodness will spread like a wave throughout the world. Thank you, Kellen. Anytime. Bye, guys. I don't know about you, John, but I'm feeling like doing some good things. Oh, yeah? Like what? I'm not sure. You know, God created each of us differently, so the way I let my light shine might look a little different than you or, huh. or Leonard or, or the people watching. Oh, that's true. You know what? Let's ask them how they shine their light. Hey, reveal the question. Yeah, how can you show God's goodness to others? Maybe there's someone you know that needs help with something or someone feeling lonely that you can be kind to. Or, or there's a, something specific you love to do and are really good at. You can use your talents and passions to express God's creativity and goodness. Oh yeah, like Leonard, he's got a talent for finding things that are lost. Yeah, you know, I wonder if he ever found the owner of that ring. We'll probably never know. Yeah. Oh, I got Whoa! it! Yeah, talk to me! Oh yeah, yeah, hang on. <clears throat> How many carrots? Okay, and the inscription? With warmest affection, Eaglebert V. Channelsmith the fourth. <laughs> well, that's it! Hey! Oh, we got a winner! <laughs> okay, Mrs. Channelsmith, where would you want me to meet you? All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. Oh, <laughs> that was the so and so show. Give us a call sometime. No, Bye! No, 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 we don't need that. I found this honeydew. That's... What? It's a cantaloupe. Yeah. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. It is a can, it's a cantaloupe? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Is that a honeydew? No. I got these coins. So if you lost these coins and you're from the year 1723, <laughs> then please call the show. Ah, look at this cat. It's kind of scary. Look at that, it's got a squish face. I think it ran into a door a couple times. <laughs> so if you're looking for a cat that's got a squish face, that's run into a door a couple times, and then you decided to go to the taxidermist, I got your cat right here. <laughs> then I got this giant popsicle. 
Our Bible verse all this summer, learning about the fruits of the Spirit, Parkview Kids, is found in the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. I want to read it to you. Here's what it says. The fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It is being faithful and gentle and having control of oneself. Galatians 5, 22, and 23. Let's pray for you kids. God, I thank you that you are a good God. The, the most famous song, Good, Good Father, it's, it's who you are. But it's more than a song. It truly is who you are, God. I pray that we would never forget that. We would never forget about your goodness, and about your love, about your kindness. I pray, God, that we would never forget how good you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Parkview Kids. So let's wrap up our time together answering this question. How can you show God's goodness to other people? I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.